Yo, what's up? It's me against Stavario. Last time, we went and talked with Scott down at Nyla Car to find out what exactly it would take for us to be able to put a hologram projector like the one I showed you in the hands of people everywhere. Now, though they have the means to make uh, the pieces we need to get them all over the world, right now we just have to figure out on getting them in the hands of a few people close by. Just like with any other uh, craft project I have where I hit a wall or get stumped or whatever, I go see Danny. Danny Connors is an old friend of the family. This guy could build just about anything. Dan stopped by, gave me exactly what I needed to get started. He basically gave me a whole workshop that he just had lying around. <laughs> so we got all sorts of cutting knives, we got thin plastic, we have got uh, some measuring tools, really, really, really big scissors. It was scissor hand joints here. Well, this is how we're gonna make the first few. See if we can get them to a few of our fans and then hopefully we'll be one step closer to having hologram music videos at Super Smith Bros. I haven't put a lot of thought into it as of yet, but I know for sure I'm gonna need a black background for any scene that I do. Yeah, it's gonna require a black background so that um the hologram shows up, you know, clean on um, on the screen. And um, I don't know, I probably have like some things suspended in in, in one scene. I, I I'm, I'm I'm thinking about having the angle change some kind of way so. Maybe a black room, and then of course the lighting would have to be um be be right so that you know my actual figure yeah. you know shows yeah. up, but then it's a complete solid black background. Yeah, and, uh, a lot that, yeah. and see, I'm thinking if I do the ghost, mm -hmm. you know, I want to do it on video, and, and you know the the, the same as uh, Star Trek, the, the trick many times was actually moving the camera rather than moving the figure. Okay. You know, that's, yeah, how you, and that's how you get that movement around and, and get it going, doing things. And, you know, if you sell the ghost and it's kind of turning and moving around, oh, yeah. it'd be great to do that. Okay. Well, um, the the name of the song is 1111 Manifest. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, using that angel number of, um, you know, being able to talk things into being and, yeah. and things. So maybe some, um, like, angelic imagery in there, like, that'd be cool. So I had that kind of glow on and maybe some... Have to figure out some wings or something. Yeah, that'd, that'd be yeah. cool. Like have it like come up, like be able to like come up and then what's got then like the wings spread or something and then while while doing it. And, so uh, and you know, I tell you, the, somebody, the, the craziest thing when I, I'm telling you about Uncle Tombstone, you know, and I, I just had on a robe, and, and then I tried I tried to expand him, and I had some wings I'd made that looked like hmm. the wings from uh, Jeepers Creepers. Right, and I could actually, I could actually make them open up. Wow! I had a thing on them, and I, and I would open them. Turning these dreams to reality, reality. Live like I got immortality, mortality. We killing these fatality. Fatality. Speak the truth, ain't no fallacy. No, I'm a sissy woman in the zone of linen, living in the mansion with a messy kid. Silver Smith Rose E N D dot com.